Hello, I accidentally opened the folder. That's a great start. We are back with UBL Season 10. Um, what are we on? Week 4? Um, we kind of took a week off because, um, our opponent, uh, asked that we could play early in the following week. It's kind of been a bit of a week off for me, but our opponent is no slouch. Um, arguably one of the best players in the league. And that is Lord Nobody and the Salty Swampers. They are also 3-0 at this point and have a very strangely good team. Like, it's annoyingly good. They've got Tornadus Incarnate, Ursa Luna, Gothitelle, Roaring Moon, their staple Thwacky, Arascuda, Lucario, which can terror, Colossus, which can terror, uh, Spooper, um... Aetic, which can terror, and Dedene. So, um, it's like a rain team, but the rain only comes from Tornadus, really. But that's still pretty good, and like, one of the mons isn't really even a rain mon anyway. Barrisky can still do a ton of work even outside of rain. Um, Baetic probably does need to be in rain to do its thing. I, as someone who has used Baetic, um, it does kind of need rain to get going, unless you're going to try and use it as a Trick Room Sweeper, but why would you do that when you've got an Ursa Luna? Mon is very scary. Can tear through teams like nobody's business and has to be respected. They've also got Gothitelle, which means they have Trapping, something to keep in mind, uh, alongside Fake Out with the Thwacky as well, so... Yeah. Pretty scary stuff. Roaring Moon isn't as good uh, because of the lack of terror, but it's still a fast Tailwinder if needs be, and also could just do a ton of damage. Uh, but they've also got their fast Tailwind with uh, Tornadoes. Two weeks in a row we're going against Priority Tailwind. Um, last time it was uh, Gale Wings Talonflame, now we've got probably the best Tailwinder um, in Tornadoes. Um, to go against. The only arguable one is Whimsicott, but I think Tornadus is better overall. Um, unless both are in the same meta game and then you use Whimsicott because Whimsicott's faster. <laughs> so, yeah, um, they've also got some stuff like um, Terra Lucario. Terra Lucario's been putting on, no pun intended, a tear recently um, because of being able to defensively Terra and take a hit which it wouldn't normally take and then just deal a massive amount of damage back or just mainly Terra Steel is still really good uh, or Terra Normal Extreme Speed like or, ter with, or Terra Steel Bullet Punch there's a lot of things it can do um Colossal could also be used uh for some weakness policy um old style Colossal stuff I imagine that's what that's fair there for um to go zoom um alongside Barrascuda, because Barrascuda does get Aqua Jet, but I imagine that would hurt it quite a bit, so maybe it's like a Surf you want to go for. I think a uh, Beartic can do that as well, but Beartic uh, would probably need a Scarf to really make that work. Uh, Spooper is there and it is not something to be ignored. It is a uh, it is a Pokemon with the redirection. It does have Rage Powder, so it's something to keep in mind. So it's a lot of like really solid overall pieces with like just the right amount of synergy. Well, like they've got double fake out as well as Trick Room with uh, Goth, um, <laughs> and then like the Tailwind is kind of unmatched. Really, it's the best way to get Tailwind in the game. So yeah, we've got some we've got some work cut out for us. Um, so as for my team, I had a plan initially when I saw the matchup. And then we waited on it for a week, and I barely remember the plan, so I had to kind of, like, finagle my way onto remembering what I was going to do, because, like, I haven't looked at this, and we're playing in, like, an hour. So I, like, made this team in an hour, and we're going to see what happens. But we've got some fun stuff cooked up, as well as, you know, good stuff. Um, weirdly enough, we're actually bringing the same six Pokémon as last week, um, but a lot of them are quite different from what I remember, so... Um, we've got our Bronzong here, uh, Iron Defense, Body Press, Protect, and Trick Room with Lefties. We've gone Max HP, Max Special Defense, but then 4 in Defense with a Relaxed Nature. Um, looking at their team, they don't have a lot for this, to be quite honest. Um, like, they've got a couple strong Dark-type hitters, but they're gonna be on the physical side. 
that being Ursa Luna and Roaring Moon. Um, but in Trick Room, or even slower than Ursa Luna, so this would be like Iron Ball Ursa Luna, but then they're not put to Flame Orb, and they're not doing as much damage. Um, the only real special attack that I can expect that's going to come out, uh, on that's going to be super effective, um, I guess other than Colossal, if they choose to bring Colossal, so be it. But otherwise, it's like Shadow Ball slash Dark Pulse Lucario. So, like, that's maybe it. And if it's Terra Ghost, we're going to have an issue, because obviously, you know, we've kind of got no attacking move that isn't uh, uh, Body Press. Um, but even against things like Gothitelle, this can pretty easily win. Um... It also just gives us the option to go Trick Room and have something slower than everything in Trick Room. Um, so, it's relatively nice in that regard, and it's kind of difficult for them to sit down. Another Pokemon that they've also got, uh, that's probably going to be going for a strong crunch, is going to be this Barrascuda. So, yeah. Um, if we can get Bronzong set up, then it's really solid, but we're actually planning to lead it. Um, as I've kind of been doing for this season, I've been kind of talking about the lead and I guess the general game plan first, and then going over the rest of the months after that. Um, which, you wouldn't think it, but our lead alongside Bronzong this week is a Leckie. Now, why would I lead my fastest and my slowest Pokemon, you might think? Well, kind of simple. If they see a Leckie, they've maybe they've got to think about going for a Tailwind if they're going for a fast strategy. Um, and if so, then we don't need to go for speed control on our end with uh, Aleki. We can go for Trick Room with Bronzong. And then even some of our faster Pokemon will, uh, will underspeed them in Trick Room to choose to set up Tailwind. So that's why we've got Aleki as it is. Um, we've got enough speed to outspeed um, Max Speed Ursa Luna in Tailwind. Um, this also means we outspeed Barrascuda. We actually need no speed to outspeed Barrascuda, but we need a little bit just to outspeed uh, Ursa Luna in Tailwind. Um, most of the rest of it has gone into special attack uh, and then defense. Um, I forget. I think it's because a Thunderbolt against a max HP Tornadus is a kill, uh, barring Sash. Um, and then I put the rest into defense rather than HP because I'm mostly expecting physical attackers. It also helps against things like, um, like because of this massive amount of defense investment, like Life Orb, Terra Normal, uh, Lucario with extreme speed is not going to kill us. Um, we've got the Covert Cloak, they've got double fake out, so, this, so if they want to try and stop a Lucky by doing that, then that's all, then, you know, that doesn't work. Um, otherwise we've got kind of the standard triple electric, we've got Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and Electro Web. Volt Switch is the main move here, because if they are going for more of a Tailwind style strategy, then we can Volt Switch on out into a slower Pokemon and just set up Trick Room. Um, otherwise if we want to stick around, obviously Thunderbolt is great damage, Electro Bolt, uh, sorry, Electro Web is good speed control if they're not going for Tailwind specifically, um, because we'll outspeed everything. Um, other than uh, Booster Energy Speed Roaring Moon, which we speed tire with, which is unfortunate. I, or maybe it's a point faster, something along those lines. Uh, but then our last move is Reflect. Uh, as I say, most of their Pokemon are quite physical, so I want to make sure I've got Reflect. Um, I don't want to commit to dual screens, but I think just having Reflect as an option is quite nice, and also can help sell Bronzong for Iron Defense Body Press stuff. One of the Pokemon that I thought about bringing in with this is our Greninja, and to be honest, this was kind of where I forgot everything. Um, Greninja was something I was like, okay, yeah, so I'm going to Volt Switch into Greninja, and I don't remember why, but I think the thing is, if Greninja is under Trick Room and they've set up a Tailwind, Greninja kind of underspeeds everything anyway, um, and its coverage is really solid into their team. Obviously, Hydro Pump is great to Saluna, it's not going to kill it. Um, I need like a boosting item for that, but I like my Sash Greninja, so... But also Ice Beam is really nice into a lot of their Pokemon, you know, they've got their, uh... You know, they've got the Tornadoes, they've got the Roaring Moon, the, uh... The Flacky, so... And then obviously, uh, Hydro Pump kind of nukes everything else, apart from... I've got Dark Pulse for the Gothitelle, but it's also just a generally nice move to click, as per usual, and Taunt is also great. It also allows me 
if they do try and go for like a reverse trick room uh after bronze i'm gonna set up trick room and they're like oh wait i need to reverse trick room with like golf we can taunt it and then we don't have to worry about it trying to reverse trick room while our bronze on gets set up and tries to win the game so um that was kind of the idea i don't know i don't remember the greninja like what it was supposed to do but i remembered it was a good idea and looking at the team matchup it looks pretty solid so We'll see what happens. Um, as for the other three Pokemon, um, this is where we've got some fun stuff coming along. Uh, we've got a, the, the the offensive brute bonnet. Um, almost max HP, but we've got a little bit of speed to try and randomly spree, speed creep Ursa Luna, which is nice. Um, it also means that, uh, in Tailwind, we, we outspeed uh, Lucario. Um, do we have speed anything else? Um... We don't get Tornadus, but, I mean, if Tornadus is in, then that means uh, I think he's all... Uh, I don't think we outspeed Golf, to be honest. Might want to have a look at that. Might want to see if I can outspeed Golf, but I imagine Golf can't really touch me anyway. Um, but yeah, we've got the Booster Energy Attack uh, with Bullet Seed and Crunch and Protect and then Rage Powder as well. Rage Powder is just nice to have, just in case. Uh, protect, just in case I need to keep things safe. Um, but overall, we're generally pretty bulky, um, as well as being able to hit hard. This is nice in Trick Room, um, if they don't have Ursa Luna. But also, with decently bulky, we might be able to take a hit anyway. Um, so, we'll have to see. But the main thing is, we're finally doing Symbiosis. Um, so if you don't know, uh, Symbiosis is an ability that if an ally uses an item, this, uh, the Pokemon with Symbiosis gives... Pokemon that use the item, it's ability. Uh, sorry, it's it's item um, for an ally only. So, what we are doing is we are using Symbiosis loaded dice to give our, uh, our brute bonnet the loaded dice to allow the bullet seed to be guaranteed four hits. This means that... Um, this means that Bullet Seed will be guaranteed 4 hits, and with the Booster Energy in attack, Guarantee takes out Ursa Luna. So, that's the idea. So, yeah. Really cool stuff. Um, we'll see if it puts in some work. The other option, which I have just thought about, is maybe just giving this thing an Expert Belt and going Seed Bomb. Um, if that's enough, I'll go for it, but I think... Like, this was this was already cutting it close. So, I'll have to see on the damage. I think we might be able to do it now. You'll be able to see probably a little bit about Moltres. But let's have a look at Brute Bonnet versus Ursa Luna. And see if we can do that change. Because that would also just make Floor just generally better. What are we looking at? Ursa Luna. Oh, we're gonna, we want to look at Max HP for defense. Uh, wah. Wah. Uh, so we want to look at Expert Belt in the sun with Seed Bomb. Would that get it? Eh, it'd, be too, it'd be close. Probably a little too close for comfort, because I don't think you get a stronger physical grass type move. Yeah, no. This is the only way we can get it, so we're going to go for this instead. Um, it just means that Flodges doesn't really have a useful item, but, um... Flodges kind of doesn't really need an item, but, like, the Expert Belt would help, obviously, Flodges. But, um... Otherwise, like, it's still pretty solid. Uh, Flodges has enough special attack to, uh... I think we... We're going for an Oko on Max HP Barrascuda with Energy Ball here. Uh, and then we've got Moonblast and Dazzling Gleam. Fairy moves are pretty generally good to hit into their team. Like, they don't really have a Fairy Resist. It's just they've got a really easy way to kill Fairies. Like, they've got, uh, what's it called? They've got Colossal, but that's kind of about it. So it's mainly they want to kill it with uh, Lucario. We've got enough speed that we outspeed a minus one Lucario, which is nice. And then we've got the rest into bulk. Um, thankfully, Life Orb Bullet Punch, and I think even Terra Life Orb Bullet Punch doesn't even take us out, which is really nice. Um, means we can get some good damage going. Um, Moonblast, um, 
Or is it Moonblast? I mean, obviously it outcoes Roaring Moon, but I think it... I think Dazzling Gleam can get it. Um, so, we'll have to see. This is generally good into, like, any sort of team. Um... I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna change it to Seed Bomb, because I think just the fact that this can have Expert Belt, because this can come on its own, whereas, like, the Brute Bonnet kind of needs Floor just to be with it. So, while it's not a guarantee that uh, Seed Bomb is going to be killing, uh, it's pretty close. So, hopefully we can go for that. And at worst, we can just finish the thing off with Aslan Bloom. So, um, I might mess about with EVs because, like, with the Expert Belt now, it means that, uh, I think with the Expert Belt, it actually means we get, like, max HP Roaring Moon with Dazzling Gleam, which is really, really cool. Um, so, we'll see. But I think, I don't think we're going to change much about Floor I think it's fine as it is. And the last Pokemon, if you, uh, actually remember last week, is going to be our Moltres. So, Moltres, similar sort of, like, deal. Uh, we've, we're going for the Speed Tire with the Lucario. Um, so, yeah. Um... We've got Terra Water. Um, Water is just kind of a nice defensive type in general. Um, if I wanted to Terra it, um, it's good. It was like that, or like maybe Ghost if I want to get cheeky against the Ursa Luna, or like Steel, or then I'm weak to Ground, and it's like, uh, and I can't really run Willow Wisp for the Ursa Luna because it's got guts. Uh, so instead, we've got Flamethrower, which we've got enough special attacks to Oko Lucario, I believe. Um, Terra Blast with Terra Water, uh, it means we have a good attack into Ursaluna. I think it does like 60%. It's not amazing, but it's 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 like Lane Throw into Terra Water, Terra Blast can take it out. Um Tailwind, of course, it's to help match their Tailwind if I feel like that's the way to go. And then Helping Hand is generally pretty nice. Like I say, we went with it time speed tying Lucario, because they've got to go for like Max Calibre anyway with Lucario, so like it's probably just worth me going for the speed tie. And then that little bit of special attack and the rest into bulk with a citrus berry. Keep ourselves nice and healthy. Obviously, like, in theory, I don't want to burn, like, Ursa Luna with Flame Body. But there's enough things that I want to burn that I think it's... Excuse me. It's, I think it's uh, worth it. Such as, you know, there's Lucario. There's Roaring Moon. Uh, if Wacky tries to fake me out, that's got a chance to burn. Uh, Barra Scooter, there's a ton of things that I'd love to get a cheeky burn on. And I, like, it's not worth me running Will-O-Wisp, because I'm not faster than most of those anyway. Um, but Flame Body is still worth it, in my opinion. So, this is definitely a bit of a scuffed team, and against Lord Nobody, that's probably not going to be good enough to beat them. Uh, unless I play super well, because I don't even have, like, a real plan other than lead Bronze on Aleki and see what happens. <laughs> so... Uh, we'll have to see, uh, if we don't win this one, so be it, we'll come back fighting next week. Um, and, uh, I'll see you guys for the match play in just under an hour at this point. And, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Alright, well, let's do this. Well, you... Well, nobody's sending us the challenge momentarily. However, I'm going to call them out for being three minutes late. <laughs> oh well. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to work tonight, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, is this going to go well? Probably not. Nobody's really good, and for me to go 4-0... It's gonna be tricky. So. Alright, there we go. I will get five bottles. Uh, why? And I'll send the challenge for game three. Yep. Yeah. 
And there we go. Okay. Let's, uh... I don't really even look to what they brought. Okay. So let's see. Um... Oh, interesting. Okay, so they didn't bring Torn at all. Um, looks like they're potentially doing cool stuff. No Lucario. Okay. Hmm. I still think my kind of lead is probably fine. It's a question of what do I want in the back. Um... I like Gren. I also like our shrooms here. I wonder if I get... It's a question of do I go floor just plus... What's it called? Uh, floor just plus root, or if I go Gren plus... I'm gonna go... I'm worried about Trick Room. I'm gonna go Floor just plus Moltres. Okay, they are going for this, okay. Well, I am fairly specially defensive. Uh, max special attack plus two. Modest. And then I'm gonna assume it's heat wave, but I'll. In doubles, it isn't killing me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt switch. Here, and I'm going to trick him. Okay, Terrifier is going to kill me. Ow. Uh, I can protect and Terror Water Tailwind here. Come on, Moltres, I believe in you. Actually really helps. Um So I can go for Terror Blast Water now and take this thing out. That is rough. I just get the kill, but uh. Yeah, it's just too much damage. Okay. So I assume they've got safety goggles. I think we need to do backdoor trick room then. I 
think we bring Gren up front. And then we do backdoor trick room with with Bronzong and then Shrooms. I think that's the play. So they know now I'm Terra Walker. Oh, with Terra Blast. So. I think I am just going to Terra Water immediately. Um. Mmm. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna tailwind and just hydro. Wait, terror, tailwind, and hydro. Cause I'm sash, so I don't have to worry about heat wave killing me. Um I don't think there's any move single move that's colossal can go for. Um and if they try and like protect and stall out a little bit, then I can get my thingy off. I've also revealed Helping Hand. Helping Hand Hydro will kill uh, Lossal, even if it goes for Terra Fire. So. I didn't get to see the last. I would assume with this comp, it's either Ursaluna or Roaring Moon. I'm just gonna switch, okay. I'm gonna CC, but uh, I am Sash, so. That's gonna do a good chunk, yeah. A really, really good chunk. Um, obviously there is Aqua Jet. Um, I think I am going to be switching out for that reason. I'm going to go into uh, Brute Bonnet and just going for this. Yep. There's Booster Energy Speed. Unfortunately, I don't have Protect on this thing. I think I'm just trying to take out this... Oh, I do have Protect. I'm so good at this game. Um... Then, do I Protect? I'm gonna play flamethrower and I'm gonna protect. I think that's the play. I think that's what I want to do. I'm expecting at least one attack to go into the root on it, whether it's um close combat from uh Barascuda or Acro from Moon. I wouldn't expect both to go into Brew. Um Mm. 
do protect. We get a flamethrower off into that, which is really good damage. Yeah, there's acro. They CC. Get a crit. Can I get a burn? Yeah, I get a burn for my troubles. Which is much appreciated. Um, am I living this? Blue Bonnet versus Roaring Moon? Fifty, but it's just take off the item. Take off the item. That's not killing me. So they might have protect here. I think what I do is I go into Zong here. I can actually maybe check that damage. Ultras versus Arascuda. Oh, is it minus one? Sixty-four percent. Probably not got a lot of bulk then, which means um, Brute Bonnet's not going to be out speeding. So, I'm just going to Rage Powder. They go into Coal, yeah, and they protect. Now I'm going to try and set up Trick Room, because they've got to up speed. Um, and if I Rage Powder. They shouldn't get bronze on here. Yeah, really nice. That burn sucks. That burns so bad for me. Because I'm. That reduces the damage of iron defense. And it, and it means that my lefties are neutralized. That's so rough. I've got to double this. I've got to double this stupid Colossal then. I don't know if... Uh, thing is slower. Hmm. I don't think I can afford to switch about too much. But I need to make sure I get damage on this. So I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna crunch. It is faster. And that takes us out. Oh, I, I didn't think about that. Yeah, the burn sucks. Because, like... Yeah, the burn sucks because of, like, that. Like, I was eyeing defense body press. So, that just ruined me. Um, that And ruined any chance I had of set up. But, in fairness, I couldn't really do a lot to this Colossal anyway. Um, I think I had to save Moltres there a bit. But I think it was s slow enough where I think uh, Power Gem was probably going to take me out anyway. It was, this was something I considered, but I was like, I think I'll be okay, or I guess not, so. Uh, GG's, I suppose. Um... Oh well, I wasn't really thinking too much about this one, so I'm not too fussed about it. Like, I'll just, I'll come back next week. I think I said this in the team builder. Um, if we don't do well this week, then we'll just, uh... We'll just bring it back next week, so. So, oh well, it happens. Um, not gonna get too upset about it, so. Um, yeah, but that's gonna do it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.